Hello, friends, and welcome back to a new lesson. I hope you are having an awesome, magnificent day. I am having one of those today. It's so beautiful outside, sunny, although it's a little bit chilly. Yes, I do agree. Well, today we're going to begin with a small activity. So what I need you to do is I need you to click on this link and the activity will go ahead and come up for you to do it. So then if you're using a tablet, you're going to click on tablet. And if you're using a Chromebook, then you're just going to go ahead and uh, click on Chromebook. Then you're going to decide whether you want it timed or not timed. And, um, you know, we're talking about putting, uh, ending the stories, right? That's what we did yesterday, adding a conclusion. So this is sort of that. Um, uh, it is cause and effect, but it's, you know, also kind of, a, you know, putting a beginning with an ending together, right? Okay, so pause the video and do the activity and then come back to us. I'll wait for you. Okay, so I see we are back. I hope you enjoyed that activity. And let's go ahead and uh, begin with the topic for today, which is write your own ending. So as you remember, hopefully you remember, first we began with reviewing story elements, and then we went into adding a conclusion to a story, right? So this is the final, lesson for those three uh, for this topic which is write your own ending okay finish the story that is our main objective that you are able to finish your own story or add your own ending to a story so our clear learning target is i can write a conclusion to a short narrative okay so how about we read it together let's go ahead. let's go one two three i can write a conclusion to a short narrative. And friends, narrative, uh, what do you think that word means? How about that? Let me just post that as a question. Just drop it on the comments or the chat. Uh, let me know what is the meaning or what is a synonym for the word narrative. So just post your video and drop a word or two synonyms for the word, for the word narrative, okay? Okay, some of you did a great job. Yes, narrative is another word for story. That's it. That's it. Okay, so this is one of the vocabulary words that we saw previously in the previous lessons. So do you remember what is the meaning of the word conclusion? What do you think is the meaning of this word? So once again, just pause the video and think about it for a moment or two and then drop your own conclusion on the chat, um, your own definition uh, or a paraphrasing of the definition of conclusion on the chat or the comment box. Okay, good. So a conclusion is the last part of something or an ending, right? Yes. So yesterday we were writing a conclusion to a very short um, passage where they started playing football with a football inside the house. Remember that? Uh, yes, I'm sure that the mom was not very happy uh, if that ended as I thought it was going to end. My prediction. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at a couple other, uh, um, uh, review a couple more vocabulary words, okay? So what is the meaning of the word problem? What's the meaning of that word? Yes, a problem is something that needs to be solved. That's very good. How about the meaning of the word solution? What is the meaning of that word? Very good. Yes, the word solution, it's the solution is the resolution or how the problem is solved, right? 
Well, this brings us to our lesson or uh, the main part of the lesson, which is writing an ending to a story. So I have a story here and uh, this we are going to do together or I'm going to show you what I did with it uh, as a modeling. And then we're going to move on to you trying it on your own. OK, so first and then what happened? So the instructions are read the story and predict what happens next. OK, friends. OK, so I am going to go ahead and read the story first. OK, after we do that, we are going to identify the problem and we're going to talk about what is a good ending for the story. OK, so let's go ahead and read the story. It was a beautiful spring morning and Priscilla, the bear, decided to take a walk through the woods. She was enjoying the sunshine and smelling the flowers when she suddenly heard somebody crying. Priscilla looked around to see who was crying. She spotted a baby bird sitting on the ground next to a tree. She asked, why are you crying? The baby bird replied, I fell off the nest and I can't get back up the tree. Priscilla looked up at the bird's nest in the tree and said, I can help you, little bird. Okay, friends, so let's look at this question over here. Question number one. What do you think happened next? So the instructions are read the end or write the end of the story here. Uh, then it's giving you a couple of other uh, guiding questions. What do you think Priscilla was thinking when she heard the baby bird crying? And the other is, how do you think baby bird fell when felt when he fell out of the nest? Okay. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video for if, uh, for about you know one two minutes, read the story first, and then think about what is the problem and also what would be a good ending. Okay, okay. So what is the problem? Well, yes, the problem is that the little bird fell from the nest and he cannot get up. That is the big problem. And it is big, right? So what would be a good ending for this story? Okay, so usually when we are writing a story, we don't write only one sentence, okay? So a good ending is not the bird gets back on the nest. No, because we need to know how the bird gets back on the nest. Some of you are saying, well, the bear ate the bird. Well, you know, that could be an ending, even though it's a tragic ending, but what prompted the bear? What prompted the bear to eat the bird? You see? So it has to be more than just one sentence. Let me share what I have with you. Okay, so here we go. Priscilla looked around for the parents, but didn't see them. She stopped to think about ways to help baby bird. Finally, Priscilla asked the little bird to jump and sit on top of her snout. Priscilla stood tall on her two rear paws and dropped the little bird back in the nest, warning him to be more careful next time. The end. So friends, you see, here I address different uh, different things. First, I addressed the problem that the bird was on the floor and the parents were not around to help him. Not that they would be able to help him, but anyways. Then I addressed a solution to the situation, how to get the bird back in the nest. Um, and that is exactly what we need to do when we are going to add an ending to a story. Okay, so let's practice. And we're going to start this together and then you're going to finish it on your own, okay? <clears throat> Write the ending, Kenisha's trip. So read the beginning of the story 
and write your own ending in the lines below. Okay, so remember that in order for us to write the ending of the story, we have to actually determine what is the problem in the story, in what we are seeing. So just remember that, okay? Okay, so I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to ask you eventually to read it again on your own, okay? So, when the pilot announced that the plane would soon be landing, Kanisha looked out the window to watch the houses below look larger and larger. She closed her eyes as the plane bumped on the runway and stopped at the gate. She was so excited walking off the plane, she almost full, uh, she was almost skipping. She was following her parents and little brother when she spied planes taking off nearby. She stopped to look at them, and when she looked for her family, they were gone. Okay, friends. So, first of all, what is the problem in the story? That is the first thing that we need to find, because that is what we need to fix okay, or the solution we need to find for, okay? Okay, so what do you think is the problem in this story? Yes, very good. She is all of a sudden lost. She doesn't know where her family is and she is probably a little bit scared, right? Okay. Okay, so your job now is to upload this a uh, form to your computer and add an ending to the story. Now remember that you need to walk towards that ending, figuratively of course, meaning that it's not only one sentence. Remember that before I didn't say, you know, the bird put the, be the bird back on the nest. No, I give a little bit of a preamble to that. So that's what you are going to do. And so we have arrived at the end of another lesson. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for being here with me today. And I will see you next time.